Hello and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we're going to cover how to make road assemblies. So when you're making your corridors, you want to, in the last video we went over profiles, alignments, and things of that nature, but there's an endless amount of ways to make assemblies. So in this video, we're just going to kind of cover assemblies and how to do them. So to create an assembly, you're going to want to start up in right about, oh boy, now I can't find it. Oh boy. What? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so right here. So you can go here and create assembly. And he from here you can name the assembly. We're just going to do, keep things simple, road assembly. And we don't need a description, assembly type. You can do all these different types. We're just going to keep it other. Basic. And right here, as always, you can put what layer you want it to be in. Right here, we already have a dedicated, and each new Civil 3D session will have them automatically programmed to go into road assembly. So we'll keep it right there, but if you want to put it in a separate folder, you can do that as well. So now, when you click, you'll get this, which is the, the center of your road assembly. And you can even rename it if you want to change the name right here. You can go to here and change it at any time. And here you can see the properties of what the layer and the color and everything about it. So now we're going to build the road assembly. So to do that, we're just going to come over here. And so we have this toolbar. Let's see if I can move it out um, right here. It's a tool palette that has all the sub assemblies. Um, I just like to keep mine on the side. We'll move it to right here for now, so it's just easy for, for you guys to see. But here, we can even create full assemblies that are common, such as a basic assembly, lane transition. There's all these options right here. So if you're just getting a basic road down, or maybe the road you're building happens to have all these same pieces, then you can use one of these. Let's take a look at the basic assembly. So we'll just press that in right there. So see, we can have the road and there's all these sub layers right here. And to, you want to press escape so you don't put tons of assemblies down. So we got the subgrade, asphalt, and different layers here. We got the um, curb and gutter. And here's the sidewalk. And this will be an area for grass or anything like that. And then we got the daylight slope, cut and fill. Not cut and fill, just the, the slope of the ground. So that is a complete assembly. And you can create a corridor off this, and it'll look perfect. But say you want to change the dimensions of this, you can just click on any part of it. And down right here, you'll see all the depths of everything and measurements. So we got a lane width of 12. And changing it is really easy. Just if you want it to be maybe 14 feet, do that. And sometimes you want to do, you want to click both because now it says very. So you want to make sure that you're keeping it uniform because I don't think any road would have different widths on each side. So here we can see the pavement depth and we got all this stuff and we can change it all. So this is really helpful. You want your road to be exactly off the plans. So if you're an engineer designing the road, you have your own process. Um, this video is meant for more like as a basic tutorial for learn people into just getting into civil 3d, or maybe that you work at a company that takes in, um, engineers files and edits them. So this will be really helpful for you. Um, so what one thing that's really helpful is for the curbs. So on the curbs, you can see um, actually this curb, this curb, this is just a basic curb. So we'll, we'll cover that in a second. So if you want to go over to, let's, let's build our road here or our assembly. So we're going to go to basic and just put in that we've got all these options. We're just going to use a basic lane and this is the right side. We're going to keep it 12 feet. And then we're just going to switch this to left. And there we go. And we can, we're going to keep a 2% slope. That's very common. And so we're going to keep that. 
and then we're gonna go and let's see what are we gonna do we're gonna do shoulder or let's do a, cur a curb so we're gonna do an urban so this is what this is a curb I use all the time with the projects so and what's great about this curb is there's tons of way to edit it so if you go in and put a curb in you got see one thing that's confusing though about this is you got dimension a b and you don't really know what this is changing so one thing I highly recommend is you go up here and you type in curb dimensions and when you scroll down into the Autodesk help you will get this and I um, actually trim this I use snip the snip tool and save this so this shows you exactly what let me click on this again it might not let me do both at the same time um, okay it does maybe all right we're good so you can see dimension a is right here and you, you can see where they all correlate to so when you get um, each county state city has their own um, requirements building requirements for curbs and different types of curb so with this curb you can change it to meet any of those dimensions you just got to modify it and it'll turn into any type of curb you would like it to so I'd highly recommend saving this if you're new to Silva 3d because it helps a ton so you don't have to guess what's going on here so that is how you build the curb and then next um, you can go down to let's see what else we got what I usually do is I go to basic because basic is really good for um, if you don't really know well you don't know. <laughs> so basically it's good for really good modifying like it's you can get a basic idea and a lot of times you can modify it to be any type of road in a set of plans and you don't really have to mess with all of the complicated stuff that you could get confused with because there's all these parameters and properties you can change to make them to mold them into the plans so we can add a basic sidewalk and we got like a two percent grade right there and then a slope and a, a niche and then there you go there is basically a complete assembly now what you can do is if you go over to it's kind of hard to see with these um, not daylight mm, let's take a now I'm having a hard time finding it mm. here we go with these you can put in different um, distances so you can make it like if there's a grass, um, grass in the way, and not just immediately sidewalk, um, you can do that. And one other tip I recommend is, so as you can see, it gets really small and it's really easy to lose. So what a lot of people like to do is you just draw a circle and you put that inside the circle. So now it's harder to lose when you have, because once you get your big plan in and you got all this stuff, you're gonna be like where is all my assemblies well you can just it's easier if you have the circle and of course if you also if you ever lose anything you can just come over to let's see where's assemblies and then just basic assembly right click and zoom to and that'll get you right back to if you ever get lost because there's a lot of space here so um if you guys want a more detailed example of this just let me know this is kind of just a basic overview of the assemblies if you don't know how to get there and you don't know how they work um, this is how basically how assemblies work in 3d in civil 3d um, one thing you'll learn about civil 3d is it's endless there are so many things to learn about it so if you have any specific questions just comment down below and I'll do my best to help you um, and thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and like this video. See you guys next time.